Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Swinzy and Let's Play. We continue for episode 3 from turn 20 in the autumn season of 186. So last time we marched all the way up to He Yi's faction. We watched Liu Bao sort of go up against He Yi by himself, and then we took it afterwards. A uh, small grudge between the two of us. Hopefully it doesn't lead to anything serious down the line. But uh, we're going to be trading these land away and marching our army to Wu Path. That's where we will sort of take a break and reorganize the army and then head out west to fight the Liang rebels. Sort of following Sun Jian's historical track. Now we have a level up on quite a few of our generals. We really don't need to increase his dueling power because he's currently having the problem of not being able to get duels since he is so strong with his items and there's really nothing we can really do about it because of these set bonuses it will feel kind of weird if we just purposely remove these so let it be we have enough heroism we don't really need those duels we're gonna go towards impetuous charge this is probably the best ability that Sun Jian has combine that with Sun Tzu coming of age our charge bonus will be insane so if we get to that point, we have 274 on these Mercenary Cavalry. Sun Tzu will double that with his passive background bonus for the entire faction. All Shot Cavalry will get the double and we'll be at 550-ish. And then we add the 250 on top from Sun Jian when he activates ability around the units. And we'll be hitting about 800 extra charge bonus. We will be erasing everything generals units even spear units as long as they're not charge reflecting i mean even if they're charge reflecting we can suicide uh, as long as they're not charge negating that damage is going to go through and it's going to be very devastating we're going to pick up flame the phoenix we're also going to be swapping our Your commander so that we can move a little bit faster sun jing we don't need him to do much uh he is currently administrator so i guess we could pick up intuition it will slow him down in this regard, but I think it's okay. Homeland defense. Okay, maybe we go for that. We don't need him to have reach. He's not going to lead, even though he's higher rank. We not only have reach, we also have flexibility. It should help with replenishment. We are going to be going this way. We'll pop out first. We'll go a lot faster once we uh, switch our stance to march. So it wouldn't take us that long. We'll keep our units with us, um, even though it will be a little bit pricey. We could get rid of them because we are going to sort of re-recruit units afterwards, but it would make taking this gate pass a little bit easier. And we don't really need to save that much money. Now, the more important part, we want to trade for land. So let's talk to the Han oh, yeah. Empire. Oh, yeah. We want to take control of Poyang so that we can put an administrator there and we can give up the lands we have taken in the north. That will bring us a lot closer. And we can offer food or we can offer some items that we don't need. We have a lot more items to offer now and we don't have to give away the gold ones and that's perfect. Zero points, nothing wasted. And since we are still in the Mandate War, you know, we're still part of, you know, the allies with the Han and we can still heal even if we give up this. So we'll be okay. And we pick up Poi out. Let's throw in Administrator. We want Drujer in here. He is currently on assignment. But before I break that, before we break that, let's see if I can throw anything else in here. We can rush this, do a quick building, and then cancel it. And the quick building is probably going to be the small city upgrade. And then we'll summon him back, throw him in as Administrator next turn. And we can get rid of this as well, get rid of this as well. We don't need those buildings. And we'll slowly trade for the other two pieces, the copper mine first, and then eventually the iron mine here. And that would also give us a nice little place to launch our attack against uh, Wang Rei in Changsha so that we can pick up the Changsha job that you know, Sun Jian is supposed to have down the line. We'll wait till we put the administrator in here for the decreased cost. This has many, many turns. We don't really need that much food anymore. I'm going to just get this going. I think we will eventually hit tier four if we have the reform requirements, which I think we got. Looks like we're good and we'll unlock artisans and that will let us 
upgrade our weaponsmith. Yeah, we already have this, so we'll be fine. It'll be perfect. And then we'll get this to rank three, and then we can get better weapons down the line. We're still very poor. That's a problem that we have not solved. Getting rid of that army would kind of solve it, but I don't really want to do that right now. So we're good. I think that's all. Maybe some diplomacy deals, possibilities here. Uh, we are going out west. They have not technically joined the rebellion. I mean, historically, they get forced into the rebellion. They were former Han officers. We could sign some deal with them. I don't think we'll be staying out west that long. Sun Zhen basically dipped in there and then got out. Okay, since he's nearby, this is more or less so that he will stay friendly with us. Oh, he is loaded. And we get paid. Win-win for, for us. I don't think he gets anything out of this. Take that deal. Anything else? I don't really want to sign anything with Von Rei. Jin Xuan is okay. I don't think we're going to Wuling anytime soon. I don't think he has as much money as everyone else. Oh, not too bad. 7.5. Decent amount. Yeah, that's a decent amount. I don't think we can beat that. Hmm. Don't really care. We don't have any strategists so far. This is also a close neighbor. Although it is probably a neighbor that we want to wipe eventually just because Danyang is really nice. So we'll leave that alone for now. And I think we're good. Let's continue. We do have pretty high... Wrong button. We do have pretty high public order. But we're not second marquees yet, so I can't change the tax rate. We need more prestige. And trading away land obviously doesn't get us that, but at least we're getting some land back. The yellow turbans are going to be doing quite well for a while. And with the fervor spreading, they might be quite problematic later. But that's not something we have to be concerned of. Oh, Hanfu got wiped. Zhang He is available. He works for Hanfu, so this is not a spy situation. He's just coming over after the faction gets wiped. He did not work for anyone else, so we would take him in here. Another sentinel, along with Yan Xing. So we have the administrators, and now we have sentinels to do assignments. So midnight purple, no set bonus. The rule, we pick up a bonus with his armor, extra campaign movement. Okay, it makes sense for his geographic focused kind of style, give him that sort of reach like ability. Nothing too crazy with Zhang He here. We'll just take him in. Cao Cao's gone, so it's not like he's going to go to any historical faction. He's not going to be missing out. He does have decently high expertise, but not high enough. Guzhu is still going to be the better choice here. Going to throw him in. And we'll throw in Zhang He as assignment here. Perfect. So we still have one active for three turns. Let's see. We're going to get that artisan. More turns. We'll let that sit. We'll wait for the assignment to kick in, unless there's like a one turn build that we can do. And there really isn't. So it's going to work out better once Zhang He gets in there on the job. And then we'll just march our army up. We need to get here quick. Our supplies should hold, even in this winter. And we'll fight our way over there soon. As long as the capital's not threatened, we don't have to do anything to really help.
Swim bent. Our nephew. He's indecisive. Now they're both family. Whoever we want to bond with. Let's just do Wu Ting for now. We do have so many vanguards. He's starting out rank 3 with a uh, Eater of Courage. Wow. Of loyalty or distress. Very nice background bonus. Flame of the Phoenix, Unity of the Sun. He has Mending. Wow. As much as I want these, I also kind of want Mending. Eh, it makes more sense to come pick up Flame of the Phoenix and then get Reach. We have so many vanguards. And our other son as well in the future. Now, we're probably going to be able to get there in two turns. Yep. And we don't have to march. But I doubt there's a big force there. So let's just take no chances here and get closer. Uh, it's a big force, but it's not a strong force. We should be fine. It'd be better if they actually attack us. I don't want to attack into the gate pass if we don't have to. Alright, so we don't have a school built. I could rush it. Definitely an option, because that's kind of the route that we want to take. The other option is to get the discounted recruitment from the red side. I can do a... Oh, I can't do a school here. It needs to be a small city. Yeah, we don't have a candidate for school, unfortunately, so that's not happening. We'll hold off on this. Onyx Dragons will have to wait. We'll just get the recruitment cost decrease, because we are thinking about refreshing this army in the north. How long till Sun Tzu comes of age? Five more years. Okay, quite some time. And Sun Fu is also going to come of age soon. Both of them fought in the armies for the Sun Clan. I'm trying to see if I can sign, or maybe I already signed a deal. Oh, wait, they called it T. I guess he's getting his. He's getting the location flag instead of... No, he's getting the right flag. Why are they naming him T already? So he left the court and got his own land. Started out with the stone pig item, 2000 in the bank. Hmm. Yeah, we did lose a trade in the north because he lost his port. I could go cancel that, actually. It is... Restricting our income. He's not taking that port back. Just gonna cancel this. He's not gonna hate us too much. He'll understand. We're not actually trading. Joseon for... Liu Chong probably makes the most sense. We do have a lot of single men. Oh my god. Gold weapon. Did not expect to see that. We can make this work. We'll give him this. And this if he wants. We'll do cash. We'll do a little bit of cash. Hong Sun Kang? Liu Zhang? Wait, how did you... Oh, left the Han. Okay. Right, because his dad is not getting land down there. We basically just have an exodus of characters from the High Empire and whatnot. Yep. I mean, I can't return them to their proper place. She has an interesting armor. No drong. Hmm. Don't really want to recruit him. Doesn't fit in our narrative as much.
I mean, Zhang He has no home. Zhang He can't go to Yuan Shao or Cao Cao at this point. Cao Cao is not on the map yet. I don't think he's going to get his own event unless we take Ye back. I don't think they can give Yellow Turban Land away. Just like that. She has the armor. She's not a spy. But I don't know if I want to pay a thousand for a silver armor. So... We're just not going to go for it. Good weapon. It actually adds resolve. I was thinking it might add more instinct, but it's going to go on Sun Jing for now. Yeah, no one's going to be mad at us until this dips, and we're going to hopefully keep it up with this. A lot of kills. A bit unhappy. Oh, faction support, no big deal. Yeah, our goal next spring is to get a school in here and just get that reform going the right way. But aside from that, we don't need to worry about much. Maybe they'll come attack us. It would make things a little bit easier. Ah, Begong Boyu taking more land. Good, we have a chance to kind of showcase ourselves over here. <laughs> How dare you leave the Empire through event. All right, we're probably still gonna let Sun Jian lead the attack. We do have extra capture rate on. Okay, Sun Jian is probably the better choice then. There's still a move on it. Usually, because there's still a move. Yep, there we go. Now we can, now we can switch. We can't get the victory right away from a delegate, and we don't have a siege weapon to initiate. So what we're gonna do is actually, I guess we'll do this. Continue siege. If they come out, they come out. Oh, we can return the bow if we can capture Tarin from the rebels. He decided to go join the rebels. Now the other problem I'm sensing is how do I trade the land away that I get over here? I have to get all the way here, then I can trade to the Han. Last turn of this, let's see what we can squeeze in here. Let's do a four turn one, cancel him early. We'll do a in, oh, no, this is ready. Let's do this first. And I think we're good, and we're, we're starting to drop here, we're going to be dipping below, and this fight will ease us back. I think he's going to be on the field for sure. Yeah, especially with Energetic. Yeah, we'll go get this Lance Mastery, even if we don't really need Intuition. Unless... Unless we want to go like this and just skip that. Mm. Yeah, it'll be slower, but he's probably going to be on assignment for a while. Alright, let's see if they attack us. I imagine they would. They are favored. Oh, Lobao's coming over here too, huh? They did not move. I don't think we need anyone, and if we really do need someone, it's probably a strategist. Ah, we do have a burn trait. From the Han, probably clean. I don't think the High Empire can spy. So we could grab her, that would be an excellent administrator down the line, Burnt Sentinel. And just a bronze weapon, not a big deal. Cautious, graceful. I mean, by all accounts, she's pretty decent. 
All right, we'll snatch her. We'll come back to the fight. We would like one more assignment, actually. That would help quite a bit. Still three turns. Yeah, the new recruit, we're not going to give her any job until we take a new land. Probably Changsha's administrator is going to be her job. Or maybe Danyang. She'll be quite good there. Alright, so we can't delegate this. We have to fight this. Night battle will be our thing. This map makes things a lot more complicated than it has to. Hmm. At least the garrison's really bad. Our generals are weak, but I still trust them. Redeem Outlaws seems to be the strongest thing we see. Yeah, that's a decent ability. Not so much. We might have to use our general's resiliency here. They are all family. Not all family. Han Dang doesn't doesn't belong there, but Sun Jing and Sun Jian, whoever falls, can give the other quite a good heal. I guess in this case, Sun Jing needs to fall. We'll set up a duel for him. He has a new weapon. Maybe he'll do good. We'll see. Alright, gate pass battle. We have ourselves a ram. We're gonna use it. We're gonna remove the guy who is on it right now. We'll find a healthier unit. And we'll just bash that open. It's gonna be ugly. Okay, so it looks like all three are willing to fight. Oh, actually, I'm not sure. If they're willing to duel Sun Jian, I'm willing to take the risk. Their weapons are really bad, and Sun Jian has decent enough stats. We gotta break this first. We could also send a unit here to capture that. It'd be a little bit costly, but it wouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, we swapped someone with more health. It is more targets for the enemy to hit, but I don't want this unit to route before they do reach. That unit is just way too low. And they lost about 20 units so far. Still getting hit by all these. We'll make it. About three hits here, I think the gate opens. One. Two. Yep, gate's open. Uh, I think getting in is the only way they will live, or, you know, they'll die, but... Let them do something before they die. Okay, do they want to duel? No. Okay, so Sunjian's still out of question. Then maybe your death will be my rebirth. Both of them have flame. So this will be good, even if they will die. Fight to the death. What is knocking them back? And the tower is shooting, but it's going to be a lot of friendly fire too. Oh, we're going to win this. If we win it fast enough, we can get a decent heal. I mean, having a new gold weapon definitely helps. And Swinzing's stats, actually not that great. Just the weapon's good. And we're giving him a lot of boost. Yep, decent. Get back on the horse and we will challenge another. Still out of range, huh? We'll be fighting inside, but so what? Ooh, quite the place to fight. All 
Alright, we should try to move. We'll have to scale it the hard way. A frontal cavalry charge is probably very costly. I'm gonna go in. Either... I don't think he's gonna die right now. He's gonna win this duel, I'm pretty sure. Sun Jian's job is to... Do some damage. And potentially get a bigger heal, right? We have health. We're probably gonna overheal when he dies. Or even if Sun Jian dies, he gets the heal. It's good either way. He's gonna win pretty quick. Alright, we're not gonna charge that. Out of our way, out of our way. Actually, we can threaten... Nah, too many towers. Let's wait till we get back on our horse. Gonna have to kite a little bit. Are we getting close? No, they're not getting close. Horse, horse, get on. Get on, brother. Okay, if you don't want to get on, just fight. Kill kill someone for us. There we go. We can loop through the back. There's this middle section where no one is going to get hit. We should be able to bring him down. No, 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 I don't want to use it there. Alright, now he's down. Let's see if we can get to the... Our horse. It'll be a little difficult. We have to mount on this side. Actually, you don't need to climb. You just fight here. They're climbing, they're climbing, they're climbing, they're climbing. We're good. Alright, pull back a little. We're back on our horse. Let's go, go, go. Press them from behind. Charge that. We're between the two tower sets, so they can't hit me here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to overcommit here. I'm worried about the towers. I'll pull them to this side too. I'll put them together for now. Alright, we have this. These two go here. They're fighting them. Alright, we're gonna just go in. This is a nice spot. Very nice. Alright, we're gonna come in too. Time to slam. Charge. Ooh, I told them to go down. Can they not use these doors? They climb back down. Uh, anyways. Never doubt AI's ingenious pathing inside settlements. I'm trying to reclaim this. Who's gonna which which brother's gonna die first, right? Alright, we got this control. Trying to take control of this. We got this. Okay, now we can come collapse this. 
No more tower who helped them. Our infantry is flooded in. They have them cornered. Uh, I have no idea how they're pathing, but doesn't matter. We got this. I mean, there's still 5k health on Sun Jian. He's not gonna die. Alright, we're good. Just gotta line our troops up here. They're trying to pull back to go, you know, save their city center. Block them. All we need to do is block them. Don't let them leave. Stop them here. Yeah, they can't get back. We're good. We could be greedy and go for more kills here. I think we have control of this, yep. The tower's gonna hit me a little bit, so it should be okay. Just wanna get that slam in. Timer, 50 seconds. They can't get back in anymore, so we'll just wait out the 50 seconds and take the win. Or they route to army loss. Both works. Definitely worked out quite well for us. Wow. We maxed it out instantly. Alright, like we said, it's time to say goodbye to these guys. Handan's gonna lead because he has the flexibility heal. Also, be recalling Sun Jing and Sun Jian. Handan will stay here. His units will also stay here. Uh, most of them will heal up pretty quick. We can speed that up a little bit with this. He's going to be happy enough. Not going to be any problems. Don't have a better weapon for him. Hmm. Take this sea down war horse. Alright, we're not gonna upgrade this at all. We're gonna basically use this as a rest station for a turn, then we're gonna launch our attack against the Leon Rebels, wherever Taurin is. Kinda curious. Uh back at home, I think we are doing okay. One more turn for that, three more turn for that, one more turn for that. Simon coming in. Yeah, our economy bounces back instantly. Now if we want 
to go full cav, which is kind of what I'm thinking for the rest of the units. We need to save up a little bit more money than this. Or maybe we can just have a smaller army and focus on development for a few turns. I don't think we need that much to beat Lound Rebels. The quality of the unit can't be that you know, high for them. Uh, Nobel marching quite far. Oh, the Han army moving north? How are they doing, the Mandate Wars? Nanjiao spreading north. Liu Bei might get wiped soon. I feel like the Imperial army is gone. Yep. I mean, if they need help, we'll be close. So that's fine. We are waiting. 600 a pop versus 345. We can't get 12 of these. We can also wait a turn. Let Liu Bao walk up first. He's going to get wiped. A second grudge is formed. Yeah, we'll spend the money on the buildings this turn since we do have these assignments active now. It's autumn. It's not winter. If it's winter, I might do a school. Rather do the inn here. After this, we have to upgrade this. We gotta upgrade it twice. That's the other pro mm. Maybe this should be the school. Just get that done. Alright, we'll just get that done. Even though we have to wait an extra season. We need that reform. Right. We'll wait a turn. Let them heal up as well. And then we'll give them units and then we'll head out. So that'd be okay. Let's continue. They didn't take this. They marched north? Hmm. They focused and just take out John Allen first. It will make things a lot easier. And yes, we know exactly where John Zhao is. It's pinned. <laughs> nobody, nobody should focus on your, your own thing. You're getting killed over there. Demon's wiped. Maybe Liu Bu is up for grabs. Guan Yu is up for grabs. What happened? He has a grudge against... What happened, man? The rule is also available. Okay, grudge against Dong Chua. It could be our first strategist. Yeah, he could be our first strategist for sure. Both of them have grudges, so they're not spies. Yeah, there's no reason for us to say no to these. Except for, you know, expensive. We have ourselves a builder. Just want to give him a bit more expertise here. Faster build in Poyang. It's going to come in handy. Two turns. That's one turn. I'm going to cancel him now. Swap him back next turn so that he'll be ready. We got the school. Four turns? Okay, we'll upgrade. We'll upgrade this. We can do the, building, uh, the builder item moving around afterwards and see if we can get more uses out of that. Looks like the army's ready. We just don't have cash. We just don't have cash. Nobel's not moving ahead. Yeah, it's a pretty easy army to beat. Like, yeah, there's the militias. Like, all cav wouldn't work so well, but we can definitely crush that pretty easily. It's a very small group. If we didn't spend the money on characters and builders, we could do. We can wait till spring. 
wouldn't be the worst decision. Yeah, we can wait one more turn. Okay, Lobel pulled back. Tarion appeared. So, okay, we, we crushed this army. That's the, our next step. Lady Bian, Lady Liu. Hmm. Yuan Shao's wife. Left the Han. Tao Tao's wife went to Zhang Yan for a turn. Probably being sent out as a spy from the look of things. Oh, thief. Poison Wally. Kind of on the wrong side of the skill tree for us to develop him. Lady Bian has good items. Oh, we want these items actually for the set bonus. And she has a gold item. Oh, we're going to be poor. Black Fan. Oh, there's there's three characters we want to recruit, and that ruins our our money situation. So we'll hold off on that. Those characters will still be there next turn. Let's fight this first. Tarion should really think about joining us. We can give you your bow back. He's only rank one. He should be actually easy capture. Oh, we also got a rank up, which makes it an even easier capture. So Sun Jing should lead everything. And for us to save money this turn, we should do general of the left. We can't swap it back this turn because that will be on cooldown. But we can pick up slightly cheaper cavalry. We can get 10 of these. We can get 10 of these. Maybe we don't need 10 of them. We do like still these, and then we do six of these. Yeah, we have no money, but definitely enough to crush this. They're on March as well. Oh, there's four stacks behind. Oh, uh, three, three stacks behind. It is an interesting opportunity for us to make some money off these armies. Maybe we have enough to get those characters. At least one. I think we want to get the black fan first. Yeah, with the TUP mod, it's like items galore. Uh... I don't think we really want to duel anyone, Tarian in particular. He's rank 1. He he should have a stack resiliency for having his own artwork, but uh, the morale's starting to crack for the militia units. Night battles got them. Too bad I don't have any range units with us. Maybe we can go Mercenary Archers next time? Alright, our job is to just to slow down those range units real quick. Ban out. You. You. Look for opportunities. Charge. Oh, we bumped into one here. 3v6 though. They got nothing on us. All right, got two units into that. One unit's here. Keep looping, keep looping. You got that. Cover that flank. All right. 
They're done. Not unbreakable, not unbreakable. Slam. Make sure they don't bounce back. Spread out, spread out. Well, army lost Torrent. This is the first fight, so they don't auto route. Or they say we don't get all the kills, we have to chase everything. Now that we have full cavalry, we can definitely chase everything. Yeah, the infantry is never going to make it into this fight. That's okay. Not going to catch the cavalry. Yeah, not going to catch the cavalry. Let's just damage him a little bit. Can't catch that. Try to kill some of these. Actually, no. Stay on the archers. You have nothing to do. Chase that, please. Okay. Stop hitting him. Stop hitting him. Oh, they bounce back. Okay. They're gone. Um, we're going to let everyone resume their chase. And try to kill as many as we can. Every point is a heroism. Might be the last archer there, and that's it. Yep. Alright, fingers crossed on capturing Torrent. There's like a... Five rank gap, plus decisive victory, plus the extra patience capture rate. It should be enough. Ah, uh, Imperial Favors fighting Leon Rebels? Design flaws. We didn't capture him. He does have a stack resiliency. Alright, here's the tricky part. Oh, well, first of all, Golfrin's also with them. I I don't know how far extended we can get. I know we can try to get Tarim, but then we might get hit by three groups. Iron should be worth it. 48% capture rate. That's what we're looking at. He has a high escape chance. That's the problem. It's probably on his horse. We don't need to fight this one. This one's... Sort of predetermined here. Captured? Nice. And he's willing to come over. We'll give back his bow. As promised before. Strength from the heavens. General of the heavens. It's not his sword. Oh, it is his sword. They're just not... Oh, we matched the bonus for... We general from the heavens? Strength from the heavens? Shouldn't this be general up from the heavens? We don't have the right armor. It's not his sword. Even though his, his armor bonus is called general from the heaven. It's a different thing. But we reunited him with his bow. And we'll definitely use him. I mean, having Heavenly Presence down the line is definitely very good. Why would Liu Bei banish Guan Yu? There's a lot of things not making sense, but... Here's our private tutor. Demolish it, Simons. Boyan still needs it the most. I mean, I need her to get levels, so I guess she will take this job first. We're gonna need more food as we continue to rank up our settlements. 
All right, so we did get the capture we wanted. The price we paid is we're now kind of overstretched. We can directly attack Chang'an and retake it. It'd be quite the bloody fight, but we have night battle. And then with the settlement under our control, things are going to be a little bit easier. So we night battle this. Yeah, I think this is what we do here. It's not an impressive army. Our cavalry can totally destroy this. Mm, there is a military infrastructure building here. But because there's no walls, there's no siege weapons, so that's fine. Two generals, both low rank. Yeah, shouldn't cause any problems. We want to fight this relatively clean, and then obviously hopefully capture Gaulshwin down the line. Not as urgent as Tauren, though. The reuniting of the bow is definitely, definitely more interesting for us. Rain. Oh, okay. Have we finally loaded the map? I think we did. Okay, a lot of towers. A lot of towers. Wow. That is a lot of towers. Um... There's... This is probably the easiest side. There's no double stacks of towers inside, like this. But there's still three sets. It's gonna be quite a bloody charge into it. Let's see if they... Come out? Doesn't want to duel. Ah, uh, Handong looks weak enough. And they're willing to take this fight. A chance for him to level up. Yeah, 80% armor against bad weapon. We have decent enough stats. It's gonna be a rough fight, but I think he wins it. And we get the first strike there. Use it. We can't help him. None of us have support abilities. He's actually our support ability. But he can't get it on himself, so he, he might fall here, but... The weapon on him is just so bad, I don't think it's gonna hurt, even if he dodged most of the hits. Yep, we're gonna grind this win. Then we're gonna go after... the other general there. Handan on. That's a lot of towers. We're low, but we're against a champion with no evasion, so I'm thinking we win this pretty easily. And we get a heal from this. Oh. We're the one in the red. We just had our spear thrown back at us. And again. I really like this animation. I'm not gonna change anything, I think we win this. Uh, as this is gonna go on for a little bit, I'm gonna break through this gate first. I'll go with him. I think, I think Hanel's got this. Oh, we got dismounted. No, we didn't. Okay. Phew, I thought it looked kind of like I got dismounted. Oh, it's going to come down to the wire here. We got him. Nice. Alright, we got dismounted. It's okay, both of our Flame the Phoenix Generals are still up on their mounts. And can target things like archers. Cavalry is something we do have to watch out for. Get into one. We capture this, right? 
Yes, we have. We have to save our smashes for those cavalry units down the line. Yeah, we're just going to kill this without using our smash abilities. This is this is the real problem. Okay, the problem is becoming kind of big. We're going to have to get out. I'm just going to have to rush this. Ooh. He's not unbreakable. I need to take care of the... The range issue as our cavalry come up. Yeah, we'll stop all the range. I know Sun Jian's low, but still 4k health. He should be okay. Hurry up, hurry up, charge this. Get over there. Right, give me a group here. Give me a group here. Uh, I don't really want to go in there. Alright, 2.7k health. Not a lot. I'm gonna have to smash this open. The morale situation is not looking good. We're gonna need infantry. I can't really break through here. I don't want to go out. Okay, they're still hanging on. It's fine. We'll do two here, two here. Do a little bit of chase damage. We got this. Tower's gonna be a problem. We still have to go through them to fix that problem. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna force them back. He's still on the horse. It's better if he goes for that center. Alright, looks like they're gonna army loss. Phew! It's getting a little rough there. Now that we have Chan, it's gonna be hard for the rebels to take it out from us because we will have all these towers. We have the cavalry that can go outside. Okay, the Imperial Favor part is a little bit ridiculous. It's not going to hurt us at this point because we still have Emperor Liu Hong alive, but still kind of weird to lose those. Rescue ally, General's experience. Ooh, kind of want this. I guess we'll just go this way now. All right, not so scary, not so scary. We should be fine. They have another stack here, so potentially three armies attacking us. We get this, but the garrison's not ready. I'm actually gonna demolish it. We'll get the cash. We need to take this so we can start our trade with the High Empire. 
and I think we can we can probably leave after that. Our goal is not to wipe out the Leon Rebels. Sun Jian never really did that. Our goal really is to shift back our focus to Changsha afterwards. We can use whatever we get there to trade for at least the Iron Mine and the Copper Mine, and then start going towards Changsha at that point. We do have to be concerned about one thing. If the capital comes under threat and we don't have any lands in the north, for us to return back north, it's going to be tricky. Should we keep Wu Pass, per, for example, and not trade it away? Yeah, that, that could be a consideration. Yeah, but definitely not something we need to worry about now. These are good deals, because we're not going to fight them. If they can pay us, we can use it on... Generals. Or basically items. Man, I didn't take a look at their items. Oh, seven Cedar Lands. We actually need one, but we're going to get one from the items that we're, or the generals that we're going to recruit. So, I'm just going get to get cash first. Anything else? Don't really want to deal with bandits. Don't want to deal with Koron because there are so many Han factions at war with them. Or at with him that I don't want to get involved. I can get decent amount of cash again. There's three generals we want to recruit, so... It's going to get pricey. We have enough cash after that fight, but we might as well sign these while we're here. We get 800 here too. Oh, perfect. Nailed it. Alright, Lady Ban for the items. Although it could make sense we take her in since we have Tarim, but she's probably a spy. So I can't can't allow that. Social Grace, Dashu. Okay, we don't have Dashu, but we can try to get him. Ooh, that's a good one. Let's, uh... Hmm, the Builder is also a good one, so... Nope, we'll just hang on to that for now. We'll fire her. Sea Down War Horse. And this is the Sea Down Lance that we want for the set. And that's the upgrade for Handan's gear. Make sure he didn't auto pick up. Yep, he auto picked up a weapon. We really can't trust her that one turn in Zhang Yan's faction. Cao Cao's with Cao Cao. Oh, Cao went back to his dad. That, that feels right. I wish we can trade characters that would just give his wife back. Trade with his dad. Be like, here's your daughter in law. I could say goodbye to Yen Xing. He doesn't really fit what we want. He's not rare enough for us to keep him. Right now, he's just, you know, doing an assignment that Zhang He could do, and we'd rather keep Zhang He than him. The question is his assignment. Is it currently active? Do we need to. Right, he's three turn. This is upgrade in two turn. Yeah, so he can get recalled, or we can just fire him right now. Did we get his weapon? I think we did. Nope. Let's snatch his weapon. We'll hang on to that. Yeah, we don't need him. Save up on a little bit of our salary income. Zhang He can just come in and take care of that. 
and then we just have a better use of our court. The historical ones, we're not going to really move. Guan Yu, Li Ru, Cao Ren, or Zhang He, these are the A historical one. We have a random girl with burn trait. She's going to end up as administrator. Nothing too crazy there. And it's just about the end turn. How many armies will come attack us? Yeah, our general health is a little bit low, but the units are very healthy. Oh? Once again, we don't have to fight. They're just basically asking us to... We don't... We're not getting attacked. Oh, we are getting attacked. Wait, who's the... They're getting attacked. It's not us. It says battle will pass because it's here, but that, it's not actually our... It's an open field fight. Yep. They can die. <laughs> we're leaving Liu Bell's army to die again. Yeah. This time we're not even going to pretend about it. Oh, only Golshwin. He's coming by himself. Okay, but this is going to be where we're going to end things. We're going to leave this as our save point. We'll come back, defeat him, and then continue our push. Get a few more pieces of land so that we can trade with the Han, pick up the rest of Poyang, and then we're just going to return south and take care of Changsha. And then once we're done with that, we'll take the path up north towards Luoyang from the Jin province, marching up to Nanyang. We won't be working under Yuan Shu, basically, but pretty much the same path Zhong Jian took. And then we'll go to the capital again, this time to rescue it from the ill turban threat that has not ended. And that's sort of Sun Jian's life story for that point, because if we follow any more, he's going to die. So that's basically where we're going to leave things. We'll come back here and fight off Gao Shun, maybe capture him. Definitely an interesting character to add, even though another Vanguard doesn't really hurt us because our cavalry charge is going to be so impressive. Having more Vanguard is not really a big issue. We just basically charge mercenary calves at everyone. Uh, with very high charge rate and it should just make the campaign quite easy. So we'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Until then, bye!